Britain is stronger with a fair migration system and that means we have a free movement currently because we're in the EU and that is how and why we have access to the single market too, where we trade freely, where almost half of our exports go, where we have access to 500 million consumers, because the two are linked. If we want to have free access to the single market, we also have to take part in free movement of people. Now, it's only fair if people come here and work and that they contribute into the system that they pay taxes. And that is what the Prime Minister negotiated so that you can't claim benefits in this country until you've paid into the system. Now, most people think that is fair and that you should be able to move around to get a job, as British people currently can around the rest of Europe because it is a two-way street. There are roughly a similar number of EU migrants living in the UK as there are uh, UK uh, migrants living in the rest of the EU and so it's a fair movement of people allowing you to work freely around and travel and study and so on but that it is a fair system because you can't move around just to claim benefits, which would not be fair. Um, and we should also be clear about, as Catherine was, about the levels of migration, because actually there's a similar number um, of migrants from the rest of the world as there are from Europe. And according to some studies, there are more migrants from the rest of the world than there are uh, from the EU. So the idea that EU migration is sort of overwhelming and is more than from the rest of the world is untrue. If you think about the other benefits of EU migration, there are around 100,000 people working in our NHS in health and social care who come from the EU. They are crucial jobs. We need people to be doing those jobs and they are directly filled by EU migrants living here. And just looking at what EU migrants contribute to our economy, around £20 billion in taxes has been paid by EU migrants living in the UK. So that is a huge contribution which helps us to fund schools and hospitals and other public services. So actually, so long as migration is fair and that that free movement is to work and to contribute to the system, Britain is far better off staying in the EU, having access to the single market, which that free movement of people allows us to have. Were we to leave, we would risk our access to the single market, we'd risk our trade, we'd risk the three million jobs that go with that. So the two come together and leaving would throw out the baby with the bathwater.